It's a mystery that's challenged philosophers for decades. Which came first, the pickup truck or the criminal? Does having a pickup turn you into a crook, or do all crooks buy pickups? Either way, if you really want to make a career in crime, the pickup is the only set of wheels to be seen in. In fact, it's quite possible that the cops will start chasing you simply for owning one. Now, to confirm your criminal status, all you need to do is something blatantly illegal in front of the pursuing policeman, like driving way too fast. But why settle for one police car when you could have three or four caressing your rump? At this point, you have two options. You can simply stick to the roads and drive around for hours just to wind your pursuers up. Alternatively, if you're feeling adventurous, you could experiment with a spot of off-road action. The pickup was, after all, designed for a bit of rough riding. Start things off gently by driving through a car park or two. And once you've established that a truck is quite good for this sort of thing, you could graduate to something like a university campus. We're going into college. We got him blocked in. Basically, there are no limits. So if you see a patch of green behind a fence, simply crash your truck through it into the wilderness beyond. Because whenever you perform your off-roading stunts, be it hospital grounds, behind the hospital in the gas field, the local cemetery, He's gonna go on the cemetery, or even a golf course, you'll soon have notched up enough broken traffic laws to put you and your pickup at the top of the local most wanted list. But a word of warning, if you decide to test your pickup's all-terrain abilities and lose yourself among nature's bounteous wonders, then remember that squad cars might have a hard time following you and the police might just lose you.